When a new Sims pack is coming out, we always get a base game update right before it releases. And usually with expansion packs, those base game updates end up being pretty big. The primary reason for this is obviously just bug fixes, but oftentimes they'll make some new features to go along with the pack and then pull those to the base game. Oftentimes it ends up being a new build feature. So just recently we got ceiling paint when Horse Ranch came out, but prior to that we got like platforms around Snowy Escape, we got ladders around Eco Lifestyle. Earlier this year we got babies, like the whole infant update before Growing Together came out. And then sometimes with these pre-pack patches, they might pull features from previous packs into the base game to then use it in the new pack. This is kind of a weird example because we don't currently have any functional base game bikes, but we first got bikes with University and then we got them again in Eco Lifestyle and in Growing Together, or even like the pea bushes that we first got in Get Together. They've since pulled those and then used them in a lot of different packs. And the reason I'm telling you all of this is because today we're getting the pre-pack pack before the expansion comes out this week. So The Sims 4 says update required, and I'm gonna quickly install that. And the fun part about this is actually that I've been playing with this update for like two weeks now. You can tell right here that I've got two Sims 4s in my EA library right now. The first one is the regular Sims 4 that everybody has, and the second one is like a special version of The Sims 4 that has just the base game and the new pack. And they did that so that we could have early access to the pack. The pack wouldn't work without the pack so we had to get this like weird fake Sims 4 version. That's why my videos had the watermark and the no gallery access. It's because that is a weird version of the game. Usually they would have taken it away by now, but they extended our access, so I still have it. I'm actually getting access to the regular pack that I could just use my regular game for today. I'm gonna be live streaming playing for Rent later tonight on my Twitch channel, so I will link my stream down below for you. My name's just Lil Simsy on Twitch. It's very easy to find. So if you're interested in watching some for Rent gameplay, I will be live on Twitch tonight playing it, and for some reason my update is not installing. It's not made like any progress this whole time. Look at this, it says experiencing download issues. Yeah, I think probably most people are because this is the EA app. Okay, well I guess while we wait I could just open the other version of The Sims 4 and I can show you some of the update there. I have been playing with this for like a week so I've had the update and I've kind of explored around a little bit. They didn't give me a list or anything of all the new features but I have discovered some things myself. Unfortunately there isn't like one massive new build feature because the new build feature here is a apartments and that's from the pack. So base game didn't get any new big build stuff, at least that I've seen, but they did get one thing and this is so dumb, okay? So you know how for a long time it's kind of been a big meme in the Sims community about your Sims washing their dishes in the bathroom sink? And they've kind of tried to fix this a bunch where they've like tried to tune it and I think the issue is just that your Sims are not smart so they'll try and go to the nearest sink to wash their dishes and sometimes they don't see the sink right next to them and they'll just walk to the bathroom and Instead. Well, they have tried to fix that by giving us the option to set a sink type. So now you can click on any sink and you can call it a kitchen sink, a bathroom sink, or just any sink. And depending on how you set this, it determines what behavior your sims will use with it. So if it's a kitchen sink, your sims will autonomously wash dishes there, but they won't wash their hands. And if it's a bathroom sink, it'll be the opposite. They will wash their hands there, but they won't wash dishes there. And that's just because the autonomous behavior after they pee is to wash wash their hands and sometimes they would like use this bathroom and then come all the way downstairs and wash their hands in the kitchen. And it used to bother everybody so much. So they've given us the option to like really customize that. And if you want to, you can just have it be set to all, which is how they all are by default. And that just means it works like normal. Sims can wash their hands, they can wash dishes, they'll do anything. It's just a regular sink. But if it really bugs you, you can change it and then make it a kitchen sink and they won't do that anymore. When I was telling my Twitch chat about this, everybody was so excited. It is so funny to me how simmers will just lose it over the tiniest little changes. Realistically, this update is so small and so not a big deal, and yet everybody is so excited about it. It's just a nice quality of life update because for some reason Sims behavior with dishes especially is really strange. Like he'll finish eating this and then just put it in the weirdest places. They'll like put the dirty plates on top of random shelves, they'll hide it behind furniture. Like Sims are really weird about their dishes. So any little bit of instruction that we can give them to make it better is an improvement. And then the other kind of exciting thing I noticed has to do with shoes. So previously in Snowy Escape, they gave us the ability to have your Sims take their shoes off indoors and they've pulled that feature to the base game. So now everybody's gonna have it. So what you can do is click on this little shoe rack and then you can change some settings to allow shoes indoors, remove shoes indoors, or wear slippers indoors. This is just really nice for 
for realism because obviously most people in real life don't want you wearing shoes indoors. So now with this change, Bob, why, why are your shoes on, Bob? Eliza took hers off. What are you doing? Okay, they're kissing. That's not helpful. <laughs> I'm not selling it. I kind of broke it by like turning it off and on twice, I fear. But the idea is that they'll come inside and then do like a little spin and then take their shoes off. Here, can you invite Dennis and maybe he'll do it. Oh look, he did it, he did it, he did it. It's kind of weird and buggy, I gotta be honest. I've always thought this ever since Snowy Escape. <laughs> it has this like weird spinning animation at their feet. And then like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes they take them off and then put them back on multiple times, but that one works. So anyway, you can now set it for Sims to not wear shoes inside your house. This is probably something that I won't use all that often just because I don't really use it from Snowy Escape because it's kind of strange. It's a great idea in theory, but I think in practice, I find the like constant spinning of their shoes kind of annoying. And I'm just so accustomed to my Sims wearing shoes in the house that I don't really care. I personally would never allow you to wear shoes in my real house, but with my Sims, I don't, I don't really care. But it is nice to have the option. And then also in the pack, they kind of gave you a couple more options for it. There's like a no shoes sign in the pack now. Of course, it's very dark in here, so you can't exactly see, but we got this kind of cute little no shoes wall sign and it will work the same way where you can change the rule from it. I think I'm more likely to use the shoe rack than the sign, just because to me, this item makes a little bit more sense for a house. I feel like this shoe sign kind of looks like a community lot thing to me, but I don't know. Not everybody wants their Sims to have cowboy boots by the front door, so <laughs> I wouldn't blame you for not wanting to use it. And um, I think that's all of the major base game update stuff that I noticed just in my own gameplay. I'm waiting for the patch notes now so we can read through a proper list and the, okay. It has hasn't updated yet. Maybe I'll restart my PC. Oh my God, I restarted my PC and then the download froze. So I tried to cancel it and now it's struggling to cancel and, and just doing this repeatedly. So I don't really know what to do about that. I've been trying to update my game for like 40 minutes now and nothing is happening. I was hoping to show it to you in the full game, but there are a couple other things like small things from the patch that I can go load in and show you. We're, we're back in the fake game for this one. We did get a couple new cast items. One of them you might recognize. It's this new pajama set. And you may have seen this before because we got this as like a console exclusive like six months ago. They gave this as like a weird bonus thing to people who had that EA Play Game Pass back in March but it only worked on Xbox and PlayStation. Nobody on PC could get it. But now they've pulled this to the regular base game so everybody can have the same pajama set. It's kind of random because it's like just a, a little pajama recolor, but they're not bad. It's always fun to have more pajamas. It's kind of a cute little set of sweaters. I like some of the plain versions. I'm probably gonna use those a lot and it's always nice to have more sweatpants. So I'm not mad about this. I was mad at the time because I don't like when they do exclusive stuff. Anytime there's like a weird exclusive item, I get mad. I really, really don't like these limited time offer exclusive things because if you miss out, then you've just missed out forever. And I don't, I don't think that's fair. This is a nice base game set, but when it was like an exclusive bonus item, it was bad. Like this is bad as an exclusive item. As a base game thing that everybody has, it's good. I, I do, I do like it. But then the other thing that we got in the base game, there is one new cast item. We have this new outfit and I think that this is it? I don't really know. I dig through cast and sometimes it's hard for me to tell what's new and what's not because they don't mark it. It's just there like in regular creative sim. But we did get this beautiful new outfit for feminine frame sims. I think I like this pink and yellow one and also this blue one the best. Masculine frame sims got the same pajama set and I don't actually know if they got any other base game additions. We actually got a couple of new swatches on one of the base game kitchen sets and this is probably my least used kitchen set. So it's kind of a shame that this is the one that got the swatch update. This is that 13,000 simoleon stove, the schmapple oven and the schmapple fridge. They're really pricey and really nice. It's like the nicest fridge in the game. And they added a couple of additional swatches at the end here. It's always come in quite a few pretty fun, like nice colors, but they did add like a couple new shades of blue. We got this new green. And then I think that these neutral ones are new too, but I don't, really know. Here's the thing. I don't, I don't use this item. <laughs> I don't use this oven. So I couldn't tell you if there's like four or five new swatches, but either way, there's some nice new options and the microwave has those same matching versions. And this is kind of good to be honest because this microwave is, um, she's a little ugly. It's, it's like not their finest made object. <laughs> it's kind of 
poorly constructed. It's just like a big giant rectangle that got painted on with some details. But they did this because they added a couple new kitchen appliances into the new pack. So this new item and then this kettle, these are both from the pack. They're not base game. But we got a new pressure cooker and then they made this thing have all the same swatches as the base game stuff, but then added some extra. So they went back and then updated the base game stuff to still match. And then the last thing they added into the base game is a new ability to switch households from in-game. So I'm gonna pop into the new world for a second just to show you. You can do this in any world, it doesn't have to be in this one, but they added a new feature where you can click on any front door and then choose to switch control to that household, and then it gives you an option to pick which sim you wanna switch to from that household, and then it pops up and asks if you wanna save, or if you just wanna switch, I'm gonna just switch, <laughs> and then it loads into their house instead. So if you're playing with like a multi-family lot, or maybe you have neighbors across the street that you wanna keep switching back and forth between, a lot of people like to play with more than one Sims family at a time, so this just makes it a lot easier to switch back and forth. Again, it's just a really nice quality of life update for players. We still do not have the patch notes, but they did post a laundry list a few days ago, and these laundry lists kind of tell you what bugs they're planning on fixing in the next patch. So if I go through this real quick, we can see what bugs they were trying to work on. The only problem is that I can't get into the game, so we can't test it, <laughs> but we can see what they claimed to have worked on. First one, there's an admired icon aspiration that has a goal to get 250 followers on Social Bunny and it wasn't working. I experienced that a lot and they're trying to fix that. Sims use far away sink for dishes instead of close. <laughs> so they're still trying to tune it, but for now they've given us just the option to pick and like turn off sinks and bathrooms. Sims excessively making coffee or tea autonomy issue and that has been happening for literal years years, so I'm very glad to see them working on that. Seems like there was some sort of weird bug with one of the ovens that wasn't working correctly, and I did have that happen to me one time. One single time, but it did happen to me, <laughs> so they're working on that. Sims gaining fame when they're not supposed to be. Sim not finishing meal if they finish their drink first. Sims excessively asking what happened. <laughs> It's like, are you mad at me? Are you mad at me? Are you mad at me? I, I relate to that actually. I know, I'm annoying. But Sims were doing that and it was bad, so they're trying to fix that. Constant kitchen fires with fear of fires trait. That is a huge relief to see them working on fixing because that is so bad. All my Sims are afraid of fires because I have a lot of fires in my Sims houses. And the problem is, if they're afraid of fire and they start more kitchen fires, like every time they cook, then everyone else in the house gets the same fear and then it's just like doomed, you're cursed. So they're trying to tune that. Plant reverting to a dirt pile because of seasons. This has been happening since seasons came out and they fixed it and then it went back and broke again. So they're trying to fix it again. Game freezes occasionally when opening in-game menus. I think that has to do with when you're opening up the cooking menu, like you click on a fridge to cook and then it like freezes while trying to load it. Sims created via genetics are having default body hair. Sims doing country dancing when different style of music is playing. I have noticed them all only country dancing, like the horse ranch stuff. Most of these bottom ones don't excite me that much so I haven't really encountered them, but this one, the songs, books, painting, and nectar progress bars not filling up. There's like an action progress bar for how close they are to finishing it and then it doesn't work, so they're writing a book and you can't really actually tell how far along they are in it. They're trying to fix that. And also, Sims entering locked apartments and houses. They're trying to tune that too. Because I think we've all had random townies break into our Sims builds, like frequently. <laughs> so they're trying to work on that. And maybe if we're lucky, the patch notes will be out. Maybe? Oh, press the wrong button. Patch notes? It's loading. No. Okay. Still not patch notes. Well, this is strange. Apparently there's another Sims 4 update set to release soon, and I still haven't gotten the first one. So I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Something's happening today, apparently. If you're ever having issues with the EA app, you can press Control and R at the same time on your keyboard to refresh it. Um, sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't, like for me right now, where it hasn't done anything, but <laughs> I don't know what to do. Should I restart my PC again? I'm back. I restart I started my computer again, and I'm gonna try to update it again, and we'll see if it works this time. It says it's preparing, which is a little bit further than I got the first time, because there's like actually a progress bar. Oh, it's downloading. Okay, I think it's actually gonna work now. I was gonna complain about the patch notes not being out yet, because it's been over an hour, but I guess um, the patch didn't work for an hour, so <laughs> who knows where the patch notes are, but I wouldn't have posted them yet either, because they've had bigger things to worry about. Finalizing. Oh, okay. Okay, it worked. <laughs> Let me launch the game and we'll confirm if it in fact did work. Well, that's a relief. 
Okay, I was getting kind of nervous. I was like, am I going to be able to stream tonight? Like, what if the what if the game doesn't work and my game is just broken and I can't play anymore? We're fine. Sorry, false alarm. We're good. Ever since they switched to the EA app, there's been all kinds of trouble. All kinds of trouble. Every time there's a patch, when there's a pack release, there's always something going on. The EA app is like not capable of handling it. It's really bad. Mods disabled. Okay, well, we're in. <laughs> it worked. Now, one thing to be concerned about is that usually base game patches, especially patches of this magnitude, will break your mods. So if you've got CC, things like hairs, like clothing, stuff like that, that's always fine. Any like assets you have, furniture, clothing, usually all good. It's the mods, so like script mods that you might have, things like UI cheats, MC command center, maybe like the more cast columns mod, that stuff will break. You will have to delete it and then check the modders' websites, other social medias, and then download the updated version version after they fix it. So if you open your game and you panic like, oh my god, it's broken, it's it's probably a mod. Mods break often with patches, but this is going to be like a big deal patch, so it's it's more likely to have some issues. Clearly it's going to have some issues, but like unrelated to the issues we've already experienced, it's going to have some mod issues. Okay, it looks like all of our waiting has actually paid off because the patch notes have finally dropped. I don't understand this about The Sims because some games post the patch notes the day before the update comes out, so I don't, I don't know why The Sims takes so long with them and it's just gotten worse and worse over the years. But anyway, in these patch notes, they talk about all of the stuff that is coming in the update, most of which we already have seen. Thankfully, I got to see the patch in advance, so I kind of had seen this stuff before today. Obviously, we have the new sync assignment feature. We've got switching control to the household by clicking on doors. We also have the new shoes off indoors feature. And then it looks like a very long, long, long list of bug fixes. I am going to link these patch notes down below for you so you can read them for yourselves, but I am going to point out some of the stuff that stands out the most to me. Sims with a fear of fire will no longer be tormented by constant unavoidable fires while they are cooking. <laughs> it looks like they also relabeled quick meals on fridges to include the word drink. I hadn't seen that myself, but I guess that does help because you might not realize that your sim can like get orange juice and milk and stuff from clicking that button. So when the game tells you to have a drink at a party, you might not realize that those options are there if you haven't clicked on it before. So that should hopefully help some new players, but I, I don't ever have my Sims get drinks. I'm like never grabbing a glass of orange juice out of the fridge for them. Sims don't need to drink, so I simply don't have them do it. I do always like how their patch notes are written. Things like, though they are things of beauty, certain columns will now indeed fade away when they would otherwise be blocking the camera in live mode. Sims will no longer constantly be using their phones at every hour of the day. Not a cell phone in sight, just simulated people living in the moment. Beautiful. Harry house guests deciding to shave in your Sims bathroom will no longer cause the game to freeze? Was that happening? <laughs> I had not seen that, okay. Sims can actually finish writing songs. Certain table lamps will no longer snap to the wall when placed. That's been happening since the basement kit came out. That table lamp has always been bugged. Sims will thankfully no longer slip and fall in mud puddles while holding an infant. That was happening? Basement stairs should now play nicely with terrain when the lot has a raised foundation. I've been having some bugs with like visual glitches from staircases. So that's kind of a nice change. That's not the only stair problem. <laughs> but I was having issues with like floor tearing from staircases and basements, and it seems like they're probably fixing that. Sims who would invite themselves over and make themselves a little too welcome have relearned their manners and should now knock instead of just entering your home. Autonomous coffee making should happen a little bit less frequently. Parents with graying hair swatches are now more likely to have children that match their base hair color rather than an unexpected red or blonde hair. That's good. That's a good genetics fix. A previously unnamed poohoo bush has now discovered its true name. What? <laughs> what? Is that like a debug thing? There is a debug poohoo bush from the base game, but I, I don't know. Okay. As fun as it was, Sims should no longer grow a second pair of feet when wearing the retro bikini from Poolside Splash Kit. They were doing what? <laughs> I always have so much fun reading these patch notes. What are you talking about? There was a glitch where they were growing a second pair of feet. I didn't see that one. I'm kind of jealous that I didn't have it happen to me. Oh, you can now drag hampers in and out of your Sims inventory in live mode. Werewolves will no longer autonomously check on infants during their rampage, and thank goodness for that. Yikes. Okay, so that's a nice improvement. <laughs> no longer rampaging werewolves near infants. We talked about the plants reverting to dirt piles, so that's a relief. They should also now only become dormant during their off 
seasons at the appropriate time, hopefully. They've been trying to fix that for years, so we'll see if it actually worked. Oh, this is interesting. There used to be a tree encroaching upon some of the billable area in a San Sequoia lot. I am kind of curious to see if they fix that for real, because I've always been annoyed by that. Oh, this is just taunting us. <laughs> World not installed, okay. I think it was this lot. There used to be a tree that was like a little bit too close, so it was kind of overlapping the lot. So if you built in the back corner of it, the tree would be like clipping into the building and they've kind of scooted them all back. I, I don't remember now, but I think it was this one that it was happening on. Your adorable little money laundering scheme has yeed its last haw. Sims will no longer receive double the stated number of simoleons for selling mini goats and sheep. They were doing that and I didn't know. Oh my God, I should have, well, I, I should have tried and I didn't. I love a money laundering scheme <laughs> and I missed out. Okay, well, I think that's all of the main stuff, but I will link this down below for you if you want to read it for yourselves. Okay, well, I think on that note, we have covered everything in today's update, at least to the best of my ability. There may be something I missed, but it's probably not a big thing. At least I hope not. There may be something I missed, but hopefully it's not a big thing. I always try to balance getting these videos out quickly, but also covering everything, and it does not help when the game breaks when I'm trying to install the update. This is probably the most chaotic patch day video I have ever made, but hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you're looking for more content on the new For Rent expansion pack, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've already posted a handful of videos playing with the pack and I've got a whole bunch more coming all week this week. I'm also live streaming playing with the pack every single day, all week. So if you wanna watch more content there, I'll link my Twitch channel down below. And if you'd like to support me or one of your other favorite Sims creators, they're testing out a new creator code program. So if you buy the pack, you can type in code LILSIMSY as like a promo code at checkout. It's not a discount, so it's not really a promo code, but you put it there in the promo code box and then I will get a percentage of the purchase. You don't have to use my code. And in fact, I'd almost encourage you to try out a different Sims YouTuber so we could support everybody. But it's kind of cool because EA will pay 5% of that purchase to the creator. So while it's not a discount code for you, it is a way to like directly monetarily support a creator without paying any extra money. And it also makes EA earn less money off of your pack purchase. So I guess that's kind of a win. But thank you for watching. Stay tuned for some more expansion pack content from me and I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Oh, and my Christmas tree is up. I put it up for my charity stream on Saturday and I'm so excited about it. I think it looks so pretty in here. So hopefully you like it too.